Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha, Raka Kodash, Ma'amath. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well. Ahar Wan, Banyasha Allah, of the Lions the Encamp, who all rule well and teach well. And salutations to the fellow Akim, our wife and children. I believe in truth and the sincerity. It's your brother. I throw y'all back to you another lesson. And your higher right desire is edifying. And not, try not to take too long on this one. I want to start off in the book of St. John, chapter 13. All right. And um, start at verse 12. <clears throat> so after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? He called me master and Lord, and ye say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. You know, and it's ultimately, I'm, I'm bringing this out, you know, just through the spirit, you know, because most, most wouldn't wash your feet, man, you know. Most of, hey, and, and those of in the fold, man, you know, they wouldn't wash your feet. All right. But that's the spirit that you have to be in, in this truth, you know, and sometimes, you know, being in this truth. All right. And dealing. All right. For so long studying. All right. A increase of knowledge, increase of sorrows, man. You can uh, forget the simple things, you know, the basic things, you know, like uh, brotherly love, meekness, you know, what true charity is, you know. So it just asked you how was shy. He came on the scene. He washed the feet. Of the, of, the, of the 12 man the rest of the the rest of the prophets you know man he was the head that the, 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 the head he's the only begotten son man he's Yahweh shy man the deliverer man verse 13 well verse 14 if I then your lord and master have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet being the point for I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. That chain of command. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them, man. Right. You know, happy you would be if you do them, man. Right. What? But brother, the love, you know, um, charity. Right. Those are the things that carry a multitude of sins. All right. Preaching this truth, being sincere. All right. Um. Governing the flock, you know, uh, seeking a governing the flock, making sure the welfare and, and, and the flock is in, you know, good standing and good head space, you know, spiritually. All right. Doing what they're supposed to do according to the scriptures, man. If you were um, an elder, as a quan, you know, um, a bearded one. All right. One who got to the water, for water, water first, you know. But from now, I want to go to the book of Sirach, chapter six. All right. And I'll start at verse 1 Because this is a good chapter to read Instead of a friend Become not an enemy For thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name Shame And reproach Right Even so shall a sinner that have a double tongue Right You don't Hey instead of a if, Instead of a friend become not an enemy man If you don't want to be a friend of a certain individual Alright a particular brother Alright Just don't become an enemy all right, don't backbite, you know, don't don't spew and, 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 and flabbergast out the mouth. According to that brother, that brother may very well be a elect, man. And that's where you would be done messed up, all right? Jumping the gun, you know, flabbergasting out of the mouth, you know, looking at a brother, you know, after looking at yourself, you know, that's not fair. You know, you can't look at yourself and then look at a brother and put past judgment, you know? You know, every, every the Lord is dealing with every brother differently. You know, every every brother has a different lot. All right. You know, the main focus is is seeing that brother for being a man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by accepting the word. You know, um, diligently doing his work in in the Lord's will. You know. So hey, instead of a friend, become not an enemy. For thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, right? Shame and reproach. 
extol not thyself in the counsel of thy own heart, right, in your own mind, that thou soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone, right, to, to where nobody don't want to fuck with you. Because they know when this particular individual come around, he got a whole magnifying glass on you. He's, but it's not a spiritual magnifying glass on you. He's trying to judge you, you know, unrighteously, you know. Um, he want to go and run back and, and, and be a, 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 a tail bearer, man, you know, uh, someone who's to gossip, right? But that same spirit doesn't run and tell back the good things that you may do, you know, they just quick to go and tell back the, the bad things that you may do or, or you know, the faulty things that you may do be, hey, at, at, at being in the flesh at that, you know. That's why like some men, they seem to be perfect in the flesh, but they're not in the spirit. You know, what's your vice? You know, are you a wino? You know, things like of that nature. You know, what, what, would, what, what, what were you doing before, the, you know, the Lord? And treated you with this truth, with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You know? So extol not thyself in the counsel of thy own heart, man, in your own mind, your own love, you know, to where you 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 be by yourself, to where nobody wanna really congregate with you, nobody wanna deal with you. All right. Verse three, thou shalt eat up thy leaves and lose thy fruit, and leave thyself as a dry tree, right. Lose all the fruit, you know, all the works. You have a dispensation of the gospel, so to speak, you know. All the people that did flock to you and listen to you, they'll, they'll, they'll eventually flee away. And then you'll be a gazing stock, something you, you'll be made an example of. You know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Put my charger in. So lucky. Verse four. A wicked soul shall destroy him that have it and shall make right. You know, <laughs> it's about the spirit of an individual, man. Right. The spirit and the flesh being joined together is what make a soul. A wicked soul shall destroy him that have it and shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies. Right. You'll be a, a gazing stock. You'll be an example and, and not a good one, you know. So we just got to resort back to the basis on the simple things, man, of, 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 of true charity, of brotherly love, you know, of washing the feet of, of your, your neighbor, you know, your brethren. Verse five, sweet language with multiply friends and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Be in peace with many, nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. If thou wouldest. Get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. That's what you have to do. You know, prove him first. But what are you proving him by? You don't prove him according to the outward appearance and the outward, outwardly things. You prove him according to the spirit. You know, what the scriptures say a man of the Lord would be doing, you know. Verse 8, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And there is a friend who being turned to entity and strife will discover thy reproach. Mm. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction, man, right? You know, but in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. Mm. <laughs> We're like when it's all going up and it's good, right? You know? If thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face, man, right? You know, because he don't want to be a part of that affliction. He don't want to be a part of that ridicule that you go go through. But when you're on the up and up, he's going to stand right next to you. You know, that's a what having respect of persons, man. Which that's something we not to have, man. Which you see a lot of that going on as well. Verse 13, separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends, man. And that's what the Lord is doing. You know, if he if you're not gonna do it and see it through your spiritual lenses, the Lord is gonna do it. The Lord's gonna separate the enemies from the true friends, man. The true friends of the Lord from the enemies of the Lord, man. The who who what crept in unawares, who who don't really show that meekness and brotherly love. To the brethren, man, to the brotherhood, to those who are truly a hey, preaching this truth 
in truth and sincerity, man. Hoping to be of that number. This is Romans chapter 2 and verse 11. You know, and the main point of this lesson is a majority of them in the folk, majority wouldn't wash your feet, man. You know, and that's the spirit that you supposed to have. Definitely being in the fold, being in the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai. This is Romans chapter 2 and 11. And Yahweh writes this out. This lesson was edifying. For there is no respecter, Salakia. For there is no respect of persons with God, man. There's no respect of persons with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? You know, you're going to be judged by the law. You know, you're going to be judged by what's written in the scriptures, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. You know, and as well as your works. You know, your measure of faith is going to lead the works, man. You know? You can't have faith without works. You know, as well as what? The charity covered a multitude of sins, man. You know? So, hey, we're in the flesh here, man. That's our salvation is as filthy rags, man. You know? Let me get that right quick. This is the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment, right? You want to judge righteous judgment, you know, not according to the appearance, not according to the flesh, you know? The scriptures clearly speak according to that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 64 and verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away, man, right? And that's what put us to, in, into, into sin, man, into this bondage where we suffer the curses, you know? Our iniquities did, you know? But our righteousness is going to be as what? As filthy rags, man, because we're in this flesh. We're in this chains of darkness, all right? But hey, the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, we have to get out of this um, chains of darkness and, and be brought back into that, um, that heavenly estate, you know, that those new bodies. But all in all, you know, hey, would you wash your neighbor's feet, man? Would you wash your brother's feet, so to speak, you know? Shalom, Habadan, DTA. To the next one.